again from Fabulous Paper Emporium. I have got another really quick, super easy, but fun Easter DIY project. And I saw this on Kelly Barlow Creations. Um, she did the exact same thing and I thought it was so cute that I wanted to make sure that I did my own version. So this is it. <laughs> and we're using, as you can see, some very bright yellow cardstock. And this is simply a, um, all I've done is I've taken an eight and a half by 11 and I've cut it in half, right? So each of these pieces is five and a half by eight and a half. And which is amazing because now you can get two of these adorable little cartons, little milk cartons, um, out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. So if you have a lot of kids to make for, or, you know, adults to make for, if you want little treats at each plate setting, this is the perfect idea. And we are, of course, going to be using some of our stinking cute hop to it paper. This is double sided. So we've got our cute little Easter chicks. There is so many fun sheets of paper and cardstock in this um, collection. I used some yesterday when we were making our basket. And that is this one, our cute little basket with the Easter eggs on the outside and the lovely stripe on the inside. And but there's some other ones. And when you're when I mean, although this doesn't call for obviously double sided cardstock, when you're decorating it. I didn't decorate this one, obviously. This was just my trial run. <laughs> um, but we have some of this really cute tone on tone green. There is this other bunny paper that I used to make that card, which I don't have, but this really cute bunny paper. So if you wanted to cut out the little bunnies, then you can certainly do that. And there's, of course, carrots on the other side. And, um, but if you just wanted to use single-sided paper that is totally fine in this case because you're only ever going to see one piece or one side of the paper um, and if you buy this collection kit you also get these these awesome stickers so you could also use these to decorate your little cartons as well so I have decided to use the little chick paper and there's some beautiful uh, flower um a flower pattern on the other side. So I'm thinking I haven't quite figured out if I'm going to be doing the chicks on all four sides or if we're going to be cutting that up or breaking that up with some of the floral. We will decide on the go. So I will start off by giving you, I guess, some of the quick measurements. <laughs> We've already done the, the yellow paper. So five and a half by eight and a half. You don't need two. I just happen to have two handy because I just cut it. <clears throat> excuse me, I've got the hiccups now. <laughs> and then I have, you need either four to six of one and three quarter by one and three quarter inch uh, decorative paper. So I said one to six, so or sorry, four to six. And it really depends on which, uh, which boxes you're going to be decorating. So you can just do all four around the bottom. These are also areas that you can. So that would be a little bit smaller because the the three quarters would come a little bit higher. So if you're going to do this one, I'm going to have to trim a couple because I just did I just did a strip of one and three quarters. So this one would have to be a little bit on the shorter side. So let's say we do that's one and three quarters, obviously. <laughs> I'm not sure why I was measuring that. I'm just going to take that off for a second so I can get a better measurement on here. So you would do, if you wanted to decorate this part, you would do one and three quarters by one and a quarter. And that would fit nicely there as well. I am not sure. Again, what I'm going to be doing, I might use some of the stickers. I'm just using, I think this is a a quilt clip or something but I found these super cute little bunny um, clothes pins decorative clothes pins oh it's there's a garland too like there's this some of this twine which I'm obviously not going to use but dollar store dollarama so I'm going to be replacing <laughs> my very decorative <laughs> quilt um, clip and I'm just going to be changing that out for some bunny and I uh, or some bunnies 
some of the decorative clothespins, which are decorated with some bunnies. And I think I may put maybe a couple of loops of <clears throat> Baker's twine behind it. I'm not quite sure about that yet, but you can decorate it and cl uh, the closure as much as you want. <clears throat> if you decided to use a brad, you could do that. You could do a couple of hole punches, use some Baker's twine to cut it, to, to uh, decorate it and close it. Um, and these are pretty, you know, you can definitely fit uh, a number of eggs on the inside of that. So it's, it's, it's quite substantial. Okay. Sorry. Getting back to what we were doing. So I've got some of my squares. So if you were doing the bottoms, you need definitely need four and then two for the tops if you were doing them. And those would be one and three quarters by one and a quarter. Done. I do have, because you will be doing some scoring and some cutting next. So I have done up a quick little template because I know once I start scoring my yellow cardstock, it may not show up quite as well. So again, the same thing with the basket that I did yesterday or two days ago. This one, you've got the solid lines are where we're going to be cutting and the dashed or dotted lines are going to be where we are scoring. And this little area right here is going to be cut out completely. So once I get everything scored, I'll bring this back in. This template can be seen on our you on our other page on our uh, Facebook page. Okay, so we are going to be bringing out our scoreboard. I'm going to get rid of our score mat, and we're going to bring in our piece that is eight and a half at the top, and we're going to be scoring this at two at four, at six, and at eight. And then from here, so we've got our little half inch tab at the top. We're gonna place that at the very top and we're gonna score this at one and a half and three and a half. We are going to flip this around like so and we are going to score it at five. Okay. So now we have our scoring. I'm going to bring back, actually, let me just grab my mat and then I can lay down our template. So this is exactly how I'm holding my yellow sheet. And I know the score marks, you probably can't see them. So that's why I did the template so I could mark all over it and you would see it clearly. So this is a little section right here that we're going to be cutting out. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to grab my scissors, cutting right in that little crevice that you've created with your, um, in your scoring. I'm just going to get rid of that a little bit more. I can kind of see the score line there. There we go. Okay, so that is done. We don't need this piece. Cast it to the side. <laughs> and then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut up all of the score marks at the bottom. Now, when you're doing this, you can cut right on the line. I choose to cut a little bit off to each side. So you really are cutting out. So it's a little piece of pizza slice. And don't forget to go back and kind of do this one as well. But this is just so that you don't have kind of any like wayward corners. It'll tuck in really nicely. This will end up being the bottom of your carton. Nobody's going to see it, but still, it'll be nice and neat and tidy. And then one last side. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so this is what we end up having. We've got our four tabs at the bottom. Get rid of all of that. And then we're going to come back and we are going to score all of our fold lines. Okay. <clears throat> so there's kind of a method to the madness. All of these score marks are indented all, all along here. This one is raised right at the top where we did our little 
I think it's a half inch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a half inch little tab. So this is raised at the bottom, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna just bend, take your bone folder, get them scored all evenly, because these are all gonna be pressed down. Okay, perfect. So we've got all of those. I'm gonna score this flap inwards. That's gonna create our little tab so that we can um, close in the carton. And then I'm gonna fold each one. When I'm folding this one, I just wanna make sure that kind of the bottom and the top like edges stay nice and aligned the top one especially that one's going to be the very very top of your project so the top of the carton is where that half inch tab is at the top all right so all of those are nicely done and we'll score this one or we'll yeah we'll uh we'll burnish this one as well so this is doesn't need to be burnished quite as much because this is just going to be the tab it's just simply to have like that fold line that crease so the paper knows where to go perfect so it doesn't need to be burnished super super well oh and i don't think i did that one Alrighty. perfect okay so now we've got our paper all set to go um, on this tab, you can choose to use either double-sided tape or liquid glue. Either way works. Whatever you're most comfortable using, just understand that this is, you know, if you're going to, you know, absolutely stuff your cartons with candy, you're going to want it to hold. I'm just, for this for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to use my liquid glue. I used my liquid glue on the original and it held together quite nicely. So I am going to apply liquid glue all the way down this seam. And then if I leave that folded down, or you can even do it this way. So we are going to fold it in half and the lip is underneath, right? So we've got the lip right here. And it all should align nicely because everything is pretty much square. So I'm just gonna grab my bone folder, make sure we've got really, really good connection there. And we already have the beginnings of our carton. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to fold in these bottom ones. So I like doing the opposite ones together. So as you can see, they don't, they're not completely, they don't go from edge to edge. <clears throat> so for this top one, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to one, the, just the tip and I'm gonna close that in. Okay, this is a little bit tricky, but if I turn it over, then I can actually get my bone folder in there and make sure that there's some good contact. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing by folding these two over. And the same thing applies here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on this tab, just like that. Again, it's your choice. If you wanted to use some double-sided tape, you absolutely can. So I've just got some connection there. I'm gonna flip it upside down. I'm gonna grab my bone folder and just press down, making sure that I have good, some good con solid contact on there. And that is the base. So the next step is you're going to wanna to push inwards on either side and you'll see that as it kind of folds in on itself it's creating the little box the little um milk carton shape that we're all really familiar with <laughs> well at least those of us i mean i remember going to elementary school we always had milk <laughs> milk was you know basically at all the classrooms and so that is how it's made um, where is my cute little bunnies? So I'm just going to grab one of my bunnies right now and put 
him right there so he can hold him close for me. And then I'm going to grab my little chicks and decorate the outside. So I still really haven't, I think I want to use the stickers, some of the stickers for the top part. So I'm going to use the chicks. Oh, they're so cute. So stinking cute. Okay, so we've got that there. And just go around on all four sides. I think I'm going to, yeah, just stick to the, stick to the chicks. At least for this one. And, you know, do as many as you'd like. I mean, they're, they, I, I'm really thinking I might use these. <clears throat> Although I'm not hosting Easter dinner, I think I might use these and bring them to my mom's house and just kind of have everybody's name stuck possibly to the back. Um, or even have them written out on the front here before I started doing all the folding and creating the box shape. And then, uh, that way everybody has kind of a little, you know, place setting name. I can't never remember what they're called, but the place setting things. <laughs> so it'll have your name on it basically. <laughs> all right. I've got one more and then I'm going to grab my stickers and we're going to decorate the tops. Perfect. Excellent. And it's a great, I mean, if you've cut up some Easter paper and you've used, um, you've used it to make cards or other kind of decorations and you only have like a few little squares left, again, a great project for some of your scraps. Okay. So grabbing the beautiful page of stickers, I think that my plan was, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I could definitely use some of these really cute bunnies because they will fit nicely right there. I'm just going to move that for a second. Oh, how cute is that? It's got a little bunny sleeping up there. And then, oh, there's a little happy Easter. I think I'm going to put that one on the front with my little Easter bunny. So how cute is that? I'm going to move all of my stuff out of the way so you can get a good clear picture of our Easter treat cartons. So we have just an amazingly fun and easy project that is, you know, not going to use a lot of paper or product and um, comes together how quickly? Really, really quickly. <laughs> so again, a really kind of a cute little project that maybe you could do with your kids if you wanted to. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you, you know, are part of our online family and hit the little bell so you don't miss any future videos. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Hopefully you have a fabulous day and you are staying safe and well. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye.